What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is The Jose Show. Happy Monday. All right, now let's get to it. Now let's talk about Taylor Swift. So Taylor Swift is now crowned as the richest female musician, surpassing Rihanna. So Rihanna didn't have enough diamonds to trump Taylor Swift's growing network. The pop star just surpassed Riri as the world's richest female musician. Now, a year after Swift joined the ranks of billionaire musicians, Forbes is reporting the cruel summer singer has since nabbed the top title, which was previously held by Rihanna. So, anyways, for the outlet, Swift is now worth a reported $1.6 billion, citing her sold-out era's tour as the biggest boost to her financial portfolio. And Taylor did make history with her money-making moves, reportedly becoming the first musician to reach billionaire status, mainly from her music and live shows. Now, she also holds about $125 million in real estate holdings, which is no small feat either. So, Rihanna, who previously had a network, net worth of $1.7 billion thanks to her cosmetic line and lingerie brand, sits just behind Swift on the list with a current net worth of $1.4 billion. Now, of the highest ranking females on the list, Beyonce is several spots below with a net worth of $760 million, though B's or Bay's husband, Jay-Z, tops the overall musicians list with $2.5 billion, so it's safe to say she has more income than $700 million plus at her disposal. All right, so anyways, still Swift doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. She's set to return to the final leg of her heiress tour next week. This means more merch sales heading directly into the singer's pocket. Okay, so though the widely popular tour will come to a close in December, dedicated Swifties are predicting another album or two from the singer, so don't be surprised if Taylor's net worth increases again next year. Okay, so this is really impressing that Taylor Swift is working her ass off because it comes to show that she really is good at impressing her fans, including me because I myself am also a Swiftie. And it's really impressing, by the way, that Taylor Swift is making so much money off of this tour because literally Taylor Swift deserves all of this because Taylor Swift is a really good performer and she's a really good singer and man she really knows how to throw a freaking show in her era's tour I have already seen snippets of it man in that movie by the way that she has out and I also believe that Taylor Swift man she really is a humble human being that really, really is friendly towards her fans. And that's another reason to why a lot of people love her. And I believe that not anybody, especially not any artist, is like Taylor Swift. And I feel like there should be more artists out there like Taylor Swift, you know? And also, I would not be surprised if Taylor Swift gets to be releasing a new album next year because I already heard like months ago that Taylor Swift was already starting on a new album. And that the new album, of course, I believe is also going to be pop, just like with um, Midnight's and, of course, with her previous album, The Tortured Poets Department. And another thing that I have to say is if Taylor Swift ends up releasing another album, which I'm sure she will, I'm sure that this next album is going to be about her relationship with Travis Kelsey. It's going to be about her relationship with, of course, Joe Alwyn in the past, and then, of course, with that one guy from that one group that she did last year that only lasted for like two weeks. Um, so it, it's going to be very interesting, and it's going to be another, you know, fairy tale of an album as well, because as we all know, Taylor Swift loves to write fairy tale albums as well, which is something that I also freaking love about Taylor Swift. But, anyways, um, I believe that. You know, Taylor Swift is also very impressing, in my opinion, to the point that she is somebody that doesn't depend on releasing cosmetic products in order to make a lot of money. And she is just somebody that just depends on the touring and on the music in order to make money because it comes to show how successful she is. You know, I'm not trying to say that the other artists are not successful, which is why they'd be releasing a bunch of um, cosmetic products every freaking year, like Ariana Grande, Selena Gomez, Rihanna you know but what i am trying to say here though is that yet again it is impressing that taylor swift is not depending on that in order to have a lot of success especially to have a lot of financial success because what i noticed is that um yes these female artists like taylor swift like um ariana grande and selena and rihanna they you know have been depending a lot and yes, they are successful, of course, with their music. However, I believe that their music is not as successful as, as Taylor Swift's music, which is the reason to why they be depending a lot on 
um, you know, releasing cosmetic products in order to make money. You know, that's what I feel. Because um, I noticed that every year and every month especially, I noticed that Ariana Grande is releasing new um, lip gloss. She's releasing new perfume. She's releasing new eyeshadow, new eyeliner for REM Beauty. And then Selena Gomez is doing the same with Rare Beauty. And then Rihanna's doing the same with Fenty Beauty. I'm like, okay, guys, I understand that you guys really want to make money off of all of the stuff that you guys are releasing when it comes to makeup and when it comes to cosmetics in general. But I just feel like it's now about damn time that you guys get to release new music because I really want to listen to the music. I'm not into the freaking makeup, you know? Like, uh, no shade, no shade. I mean, I understand that they're making their music, but come on now. We want new music. We want, you know, that new new record. Okay, so anyways, that's what I think. But Taylor Swift, congratulations on being crowned the richest female musician. All right, we love you. Now on to the next topic. Now let's talk about Ben Affleck, shall we? So Ben Affleck's father's son Audi took a detour when his vehicle, an electric Ford Bronco, ran out of juice while on a Los Angeles freeway this weekend. So the actor and his son Samuel, who he shares with ex-wife Jennifer Garner, were enjoying a drive in the Tiffany blue vehicle Saturday when they found themselves in need of some roadside assistance. So, the electric vehicle appeared to malfunction as the Afflecks were on one of LA's busy freeways forcing the two to pull over to the side of the road. The timing was terrible for Ben and Sam who were dressed to the nines in matching blue outfits. Okay, so anyways, Ben and Samuel seemed to brush off the drama, however, calmly looking at their phones as roadside assistance did its job. The father-son duo even made their way to a local gas station for refreshments, a small silver lining to what was likely a bummer of a situation. Okay, so the Bronco was eventually loaded up onto a tow truck and removed from the busy highway, but it's unclear what exactly happened to the vehicle. Okay, so thankfully the car incident didn't get in the way of Ben's quality time with his son. The actor has been prioritizing time with his children Violet, Finn, and Samuel amid his divorce from Jennifer Lopez. Okay, so this is really funny. I believe that this happens to the best of us when we end up stuck in the, in the middle of the freaking freeway and we end up with no gas at all because honestly... Um, we as human beings, unfortunately, we forget to put gas in our freaking cars because of the fact that we get so busy and so caught up with our daily routines. And I believe that's exactly what happened with Ben Affleck here. He just got so caught up with being with his son that he definitely forgot to put gas in his freaking car. And you know what? That freaking freeway from Los Angeles is like the worst freeway to get stuck in because there is a bunch of traffic there. So you can't even drive through there with at least a little bit of gas at all without getting stuck by the way and end up with no gas by the way like literally so i believe that if i were ben affleck i would have thought before going into the freaking freeway with almost no freaking gas okay and another thing that i have to say is also, you being stuck in the middle of the freaking freeway with a bunch of traffic, it can be so horrific and so much of a nightmare because, you know, you're just standing there with so many people driving by you and, you know, you just feel like you are in the middle of a freaking horror movie because, you you know, a lot of people are staring at you, they're laughing at you, or, you know, you just feel like you're stuck in the freaking freeway, period, because you're in the middle of so many freaking cars that are just there. And it's just so, so anxiety okay it's just so much anxiety so anyways um i don't know if any of the people though that drove by ben affleck recognized ben affleck when ben affleck was stuck in the freeway though because if that was the case then that might have been even more of a freaking nightmare because i can imagine that all these people might have been honking at ben affleck and they might have been going out of their cars to ask for pictures and autographs of Ben Affleck just because he got stuck in the middle of the freaking freeway. And I'm just thinking that could have been the case, maybe not. But if that wasn't the case, then I'm glad that Ben Affleck did not put himself in that case because that would have been so bad if a lot of people would have been bugging him 
suit while he is in the middle of a car incident where his car is stuck in the middle of the freaking freeway because then that would definitely annoy him even more to death that then Ben Affleck would definitely explode. So anyways, Ben Affleck, the next time that you go out with your son or the next time that you go out, especially going to the freaking freeway over in Los Angeles, think before going into the freeway and also please make sure that you have the enough gas especially okay now on to the next topic now let's talk about something really serious so the real housewives of salt lake city star whitney rose is concerned for her daughter's well-being announcing her team bobby rose has been hospitalized due to a serious health scare now, the Bravo personality shared the troubling update on her Instagram story Sunday evening when she noted Bobby Rose was currently in the ICU over severe asthma exacerbation. So she wrote, my beautiful community, please pray for my angel daughter, Bobby Rose. I normally would never come on here to share something so vulnerable, but we need prayers and good vibes right now. Whitney revealed Bobby was taken to the hospital via ambulance due to worsening asthma symptoms. So Whitney has yet to return to social media to offer an update on Bobby's condition. So Whitney welcomed Bobby with husband Justin Rose in April of 2010. Okay, so this is very scary what I'm hearing here. I really do send my healings and my prayers to Bobby Rose because it must be so freaking scary having to go through asthma, especially when the asthma is getting worse and worse. But I'm pretty sure that Bobby Rose is going to make it alive out of the hospital because if there's one thing that the hospital has is that they have a bunch of care. They really have a lot of consideration for the patient, especially because they have a bunch of equipment in the hospital. And I believe that the fact that you know this girl the one and only Whitney Rose is very concerned about this whole entire situation is coming to show that Whitney Rose is definitely a true mother that really cares about her kids and that is there for her kids you know y'all can say all of what you want about her from the real housewives of um, Salt Lake City but in reality she is a human being that is really considerate and really caring especially as a mother you know I just think that it's just so easy to judge people, you know, like regardless of what they do and what they think of and this and that, you know, because I mean, yes, I mean, y'all can disagree with what she does on the show. Y'all can disagree with what Whitney Rose says in the show. But at the end of the day, like I said, you can't be judging and you cannot be so evil about talking about somebody that is a caring mother in real life and that is a caring human being in real life like Whitney Rose is. So that is one thing, ladies and gentlemen, that y'all should take into consideration. Okay, and last but not least, um, God is definitely with Bobby Rose at this moment and God is definitely with Whitney Rose, okay, especially Whitney Rose, okay, so anyways, my hearts and prayers go out to these two, especially to the one and only Bobby Rose. But anyways, that is it for today's show, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's marvelous episode of The Jose Show. Till next time, and peace.